I grew up in a, I won't say staunchly, but traditionally Republican family in Pittsburgh. And at 15, in 1948, I was a junior in high school, and uh, I was very interested in politics and the election of 1948. And I tried to stay awake to hear the outcome. I don't think the word came through till about two in the morning, but I was too tired, fell asleep. And the next morning I got up and my father was in shaving and I went into him and said, Dad, Dad, who won? He said, Truman. <laughs> like, like it was the end of the world. <laughs> well, about 25 or 30 years later, I was back home. And after dinner, we sat down for a chat. He started in as he often did when I was growing up that the country was going to hell. The world was going to hell. And then he paused and he said, too bad old Harry isn't still in the White House. <laughs> like many of you, I find myself thinking that more and more every day. Imagine a man of character, a man of integrity, who man who spoke the truth, the man who didn't dodge the draft but went and served beyond the age that was required, and bravely, 